Hello friends, I am coming to you with the WOW series 7 part 2. I have already covered two aspects in part 1. I hope you still remember them. One is G3, another is EFTB. In this part 2, I am going to cover two more aspects or two more concepts. One is known as NBH, UGH. Another is known as circle, three circles or circle three. Now, what is this NBH, UBH? What I say is, NBH means nobody can hurt you. UGH means unless you want to get hurt. There were the full sentences, nobody can hurt you unless you want to get hurt. You will be surprised. How can it be possible? Please remember, I am not referring to physical hurt. Somebody comes with a cane and hits you or somebody takes a small knife and stabs you, you will definitely get hurt. I am not talking about that. I am talking mainly about psychological or mental emotional hurt. If you remember, Mahatma Gandhiji said long back, nobody can hurt me unless I give permission to them. A budding psychologist also has said, unless you bend, nobody can sit on your shoulders. What does it mean? That means we are giving power to others to hurt us. But how to understand that? You may say Mahatma Gandhi is a very uh, evolved person. He may be having a lot of patience and tolerance. He may be in a position to do. No, I am not referring to that level of competence or confidence and etc. I am referring to how we can definitely take care to see that we are not getting hurt. I do agree. It is a very, very difficult task. I am not denying that. But if you remember, G3 and EFTB, they give a clue to you. For example, somebody says, insults you by actions or by saying something to you. Then, are you giving the switch of your emotional control, thought control, feeling control to him? No, because you remember, G3 means what? God-given gap, synapse. When somebody does something, which he thinks of trying to humiliate you or trying to insult you, you stay in that synapse for a second and think what he is saying and how it is going to affect you. Then you are going to respond but not react. Therefore, please remember all your feelings come as per the EFTB of your thoughts. Let us say you are walking on road. Somebody says this evil fellow is going on. You are not bothered because you have not given any importance to that fellow. Therefore, you won't bother. But some important man says, then insults you or humiliates you, you have to think why he is saying that. What are the reasons for he is saying that? Is he prejudiced against you or is he acting on somebody's behalf? Why he is trying to hurt you? Once you start thinking, automatically your feelings will not be hurt. Therefore, my dear friends, please always remember, anybody say something to you, always get into your synapse and remember the concept in the part one, second part EFTB. That means every feeling is thought based. Therefore, if you control your thoughts, your feelings are automatically under your control. Remember I said yad bhavam tad bhavati. Therefore, please remember always that switch to control your emotions and feelings are in your hand. Do not give that remote to the others so that they can go on humiliating you, insulting you. I hope you understood. But I do agree it takes a lot of practice. I am not denying that. No doubt about it. But you have to go on doing practice. Therefore, you will become perfect. Remember, in one of the series I said, perfected, that means practice makes man perfected. Therefore, you try to improve so that in course of time, you pretty well know that they are not going to hurt you. If I don't know. I can share this example or not. I was in Delhi long back. I used to have a new Marathi car. My two daughters were with me. They were very young at that time. And my wife used to sit by side of me. When I'm going, somebody tries to cut through or somebody does a nonsensical thing as if I was passing through. Then I used to say, thank you very much. My daughters used to say, daddy, why you are saying thanks to them? Then I said, shall I stop the car, get down and pick up a quarrel with them? Of course, I was black belt karate, I would have handled them. But that is not the issue. How many people on road you are going to handle? Therefore, you have to say, Thank you, very nice of you. That means I have not given the remote of my switch 
which controls my feelings and thoughts to the other person. Please develop this habit. The second concept is known as three circles. You may be wondering what is the three, three circles. Every person is surrounded by three circles. First circle is known as circle of control. Second circle is known as circle of influence. Third circle is known as circle of concern. Control, influence, concern. Most of the people, because they are observing this Ukrainian-Russian war and they go on seeing the TVs, debates, they are going to see all these scenes where people are getting bombed, people are getting killed and they go on feeling bad, feeling sad, depressed and they say, what is this? What is happening to the world? I am feeling very bad and sad. Please remember, you cannot control or influence that. What can you do? Sitting in your house, enjoying a cup of coffee and feeling bad about it. That area comes under your circle of concern. Second area is known as circle of influence. What does it mean? You may be in a position to, by your talks, by your persuasive methods, you may be in a position to influence your friends, your disciples, your sons and daughters, your grandsons and daughters, because of your influence over them. But even then, you may try to influence them. It is therefore a choice whether to accept it or not. I will give an example. My, grand, my granddaughter is there. She is in Delhi. She has applied for MBA. She got in Flames University. She also got in Jindal Global and so on. But now, I am not going to force her to join one of those things. I will only tell her, during these COVID times, it is difficult for you because she was thinking of joining some job for two, or two years, then do executive MBA. I said very difficult nowadays because of COVID, most of the people are being laid down. Therefore, it may be tough for you to get a good job because if you get a job, you have to stay again separately from your parents, then you may have to take care of. She is hardly 20 years. Therefore, I am trying to influence her. But even then, please, I know pretty well that the decision is hers. Please always remember circle of influence is you can influence, but you cannot control them. The inner circle is known as circle of control. What does it mean? Circle of control are those actions, you, behavior you can take, which are mainly under your control. For example, your emotional, your intellectual, your psychological actions, which are going to contribute to you, will be under your control. For example, physical aspects you take. Are you getting up early in the morning, going for a walk, going for a gym, going for a Zumba, or doing yoga, or pranayama? What are you doing? That will automatically tone up your body, increase your physical strength. But if you are getting up late, eating all junk food, drinking variated water like Coke and etc., and watching TV, seeing all third class pictures, it is going to definitely affect you. Psychologically, please remember, anything you see on TV, bombing scenes or vulgar pictures and etc. They are going to impact you. You see a good movie with a lot of good message, it is going to impact you. Therefore, please remember physical aspects you have to take and also psychological aspects you have to take. How to take intellectual aspects? Please read good books. Please try to have good discussion with intellectual people. People are having good rapport with you. People are knowledgeable. Then automatically your intellectual capacity will increase. But you are going to get into a company bad company, going on drinking, smoking and etc., maybe taking drugs, you are going to ruin yourself. Please always remember, under circle of control, most of the things are under your control. Therefore, please remember, it is always better to concentrate more on the circle of control than on the circle of concern. But circle of influence you can do. For example, even in respect of Ukraine, let us see your friends children are there or somebody else is there. If WhatsApp is there, you send a message to them that you are praying for them and if you are having some influence with the government, central government, please ask them to help them. Beyond that, what you can do? Therefore, my friends, please remember these two concepts. One is UBH, NBH. Second is three circles. If you see the part one and part two, there are four concepts. One is God-given gap. I am talking about synapse. Second is EFTB. Every feeling is thought based. Third one in part two, I have talked about NBH, UG, UBH. And last one I talked is three circles. If you remember and practice this thing, your life is going to be happy. Hope, my friends, you will reflect on what I have said and try to practice it. You will be the happiest man. I am trying to practice it. Thank you very much. I will come to you, come back to you with the whole series eight in course of time. Thank you very much. All the best to you.